okay, but well, today I'm making something special. I'm making a, a butterscotch pudding cake or known as icebox cake. My grandma used to use chocolate, but today we're going to use butterscotch. It's a very simple thing to make, and it tastes really delicious in everything. We always use Mighty Fine. Grandma basically had the same thing as Mighty Fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a package Amber. of vanilla pudding. Get this in. Okay. Hi. Grab a spoon. Oh, it looks like we're getting a snowstorm today. You want to hear something? Tuesday happens to be Groundhog Day. And I wonder if the Groundhog will even see a shadow this day. I truly doubt it. Now we're adding in two cups of milk, whole milk. Now we're going to pop this on the stove. Don't cook it on high. You cook it like on a medium to low because you don't want it to burn because. If it burns, it will not come out very good. It won't taste very good. And we're adding in another two cups of milk for the butterscotch. And sometime this week, or next week, I'm not sure what it's going to be, we're going to turn this into a pie filling. Two cups of milk. Very simple thing to make. And it, but it tastes so delicious. And then what you have to do is just let it chill for about eight hours or so, and you can have it like for a snack later. You know, it's, you know we're going to get a really bad snowstorm today, so I'm trying to keep myself busy as I can today. Here we go. Right, now, what I want to do now is I want to mix this together with my spoon, and we're going to put this on low to medium heat, and that's a second. There we go. Low to medium heat. A few minutes while this cooks. It's on the thick side. And sometimes, no matter what you do, you get a little burnish on the bottom. You can't help it. It does stick. <clears throat> but you have to be careful not to put it on high heat. You know, what happens is it will really get burning, and it won't taste very good. The vanilla is always the one that goes on the bottom. My grandmother used to call this uh, icebox cake when she she because she makes it with chocolate, but you can also make it with butterscotch. And we always use mighty fine pudding. Now keep in mind, folks, this is going to thicken. This is going to take probably about twelve hours. Uh, most likely to my group page, I will send photos of it. There's still a little bit left in here. Just we get everything out. Sometime in the next week or so, we're going to also make a pudding cake, a pudding pie. Oh, it smells so delicious. Uh, right. Let's get that out. You, sometimes with pudding, you just can't help it. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add the graham crackers okay? in. You know, it's hard to believe that this Tuesday is actually Groundhog Day. And I don't think our Groundhog is going to see the shadow this year. Another layer of graham crackers. Oops. All right, now, the next thing we're going to add is on the top layer is going to be the butterscotch. Now, you want it to thicken before you can really cut into this, and it's going to take, I would say, at least 12 hours. Look how beautiful that's coming along, folks. One time, my grandma, Bessie, actually made a uh, four-layer pudding cake. I still don't know how she did I guess that the right kind of cake pan. I don't know. Let's get this little devil out. So what happens when you make a pudding, sometimes things it just sticks to the bottom, you can't do anything about it. Okay, we're going to wrap this up with aluminum foil, and it's going to sit in the refrigerator 12 hours. It's just too long for my phone even to be on pause, because sometimes I need my phone for other things, you know. So this is definitely going to be, in the refrigerator, it'll be a good snack when we have our blizzard, which we're supposed to get any minute, supposed to start snowing any second. So this is going to go in the refrigerator at least 12 hours before we can even cut, and I will send you photos later.